Amir, tell us about your, the webpreneur, what you're hoping to achieve from it, and uh, who can benefit from it. All right, uh, thanks, Eddie, for that. Uh, webpreneur, essentially, entrepreneurs start businesses because of a time they felt some pain, right? So my pain was uh, started way back in 1999 when I had my first startup. So I was working in a corporate job, and I thought, I, I was really bored after about 18 months, and I thought I wanted to work for myself. I looked on the web. At that time, the dot-com boom was really happening. I quit my job, went to start up a company, failed miserably. I lost, uh, I had $100,000 in debt of credit card. It took me three years to pay that off. Only three years to pay that off. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's not bad. So it took me a while. Then I started my second one in 2003. I spent 18 months coding. Uh, a business that I thought was going to change the world. I won the European Prize for Innovation, made less than $100 from it. <laughs> and I thought, man, this is going to be really tough to be an entrepreneur. But over the last couple of years since then, I invested a lot of time, energy, et cetera, learning about making a living through the web, through using the web, because we're all more and more on the web, and it makes it so easy to start a business now. For instance, just by putting a t-shirt on, if someone takes a picture of me, tags me on Facebook, I appear on people's news feeds, right? So now that's great free PR for myself. Now, Webpreneur University, it teaches people the simpler ways of getting their businesses off the, the ground. It doesn't have to be a technology business. It can be a bakery, but you can start marketing through using YouTube or Twitter or whatever to get your business off the ground. And essentially, most of us have not had any formal internet training, right? If you're over the age of 25, you probably never learned it. And now all of us spend so much time on it. So that's what Webpreneur University does. It teaches entrepreneurship, internet, uh, online. OK, going back to the, going back to the failures, yeah. if we can call them failures, because they're obviously very important in your learning experience, what were the key lessons do you think that each of those businesses and that process taught you that now goes into forming and starting Webpreneur? Actually, a lot of it was around mindset. You see, I, I, you don't learn mindset at university. No. I've done MBAs, etc., and it's about the cash flow, accounting, etc. But what I learned about entrepreneurship is it's, you know, it's a lot of it's psychological. So right now, sitting here, I could be worth a billion dollars or I could be super in debt but the fact is I'm still going to sit here and do it. And number is just a, it's a number in a database. Money is a number in the database, but we let us rule our lives. And essentially what I learned about business is, is just about providing value, right? So if I can provide you something of value, like for instance, moving the water from here to there, you're going to pay me some cash, which is just a number, some currency for it. So as long as I can provide value to people, I will make money. It's not as complicated as I originally thought. You know, if I can provide content which says, okay, people can learn about the web and I spend hours and hours and hours researching and making things easier for them, they're going to pay me some money for it. And that's simp simple as that, right? So, so what, would you, what would your advice to be to young entrepreneurs starting out, starting a business about the, I mean, to say that you're $100,000 in debt, to a lot of people, particularly in this region, that's going to seem like a scary or intimidating situation to be in. What can you sort of advise them about the notion of cash flow, about value, about selling, about getting that first customer, to sort of overcome those fears about that situation that you faced? Well, I would say don't quit your day job just yet. You know, get as much in while you still have a day job and cash flow coming in. So entrepreneurs, you know, I've done it myself. I, I have day jobs, which brings the cash in. And then the evenings and weekends, I'm spending doing my startup stuff. So focus on th that part to get as much while you still have a job or you're still a student or you still have some other income. Um, and then doing that. And then you want to minimize your risk. You know, you think every idea is going to work, but what's called an affordable loss, right? What can you afford to put in a business that doesn't work out? You're not going to, you know, lose your wife and kids or whatever it might be, right? So focus on the affordable loss and then also keep the biggest, one of the biggest lessons I had was getting the right peer group. If you have positive people around you, 
that are encouraging you about your business, then you're going to do great. But if you have people, and most of us know people, that we say, hey, I've got this great idea which is going to change the world. They say, hey, didn't you try that thing in seventh grade and it failed, and your uncle in the 70s started a business and it failed? And entrepreneurship is not about, it's not just about money and making money. It's about changing, changing people's lives, improving that, et cetera. So, you know, focus on value and the money will come later on, right? So money is, as I keep saying, just a number in the database. And as there's not even currency now, it's just numbers, numbers. and databases that are exchanging. So just focusing on providing value. What, yeah. can, what can young entrepreneurs visiting your website, learning about the courses you've got to offer, what kind of programs or software or tools have you got available to help them in the processes you've just been explaining? Well, we've got Webpreneur 101. Essentially, that course goes through and talks about webonomics. So what are some of the ways that people are using the web to make a living for themselves? So, so many people don't believe it, right? It's like, no, man, it's not possible to make a living through the internet. So it's about changing the mindset to say, hey, look, right now this show is going on on the, on the web, yep, right? right? So a lot of this stuff is moving. The economy is moving away from the television to the web, from newspapers to blogs. So how to take advantage of that? Now, what do I do? I come on, the, on your web show, I promote myself, and then I make money through that. So webonomics, then we have youism. Youism is about building your brand. So the way that if I can build a brand, amiranzor.com, for instance, I have my own site. Instead of using amir at yahoo.com, which is actually giving away traffic to Yahoo or Gmail or Hotmail, I have my own brand. So my email address is amir at amiranzor.com, which means that every time I send an email, I'm marketing myself. And then people check out my bio, they build trust, credibility, and I can get more business that way. So everyone should have an Eddie Taylor, Eddie at Eddie Taylor, or you at your name. And it teaches, that module teaches how to exactly set up a site, your own domain, etc. And so it's actually really easy, but people have this fear of technology that stops them from going in. The third module is e-commerce. So if you want to sell any products, so we have the collagen company, for instance, you know, students selling various things and products online. Um, and then we go through video, how you can make video. We go through the, the basics of what I consider. So there's real world examples. There's real world tools yeah. and real world case studies that, that are build up and build up. So people can actually develop a business while they're learning. Definitely. We, have, we go through three real life examples. So w there's Roz and John from the collagen company selling a beauty product online. There's Isa and Mohammed. They're working in a logistics company, a business to business uh, product where they are, uh, we show how they're using social media to help themselves. And there's my good self who's selling knowledge, right? I wanted to be teaching people, monetizing knowledge, and how can I do that? So, I mean, Webpreneur University itself is a platform that I monetize knowledge, right? And more and more people are going to be making a living in this knowledge economy through selling their expertise at something. Mine happens to be the internet. I'm a computer guy. Uh, but you know, you might have it in PR, for instance. You could sell PR yeah. courses, etc. Right? Okay. Thanks very much for your time. What are you? When are you speaking today or, or tomorrow? We're a uh, typical webpreneur. We're trying to get a last-minute slot in. Um, it should be in the afternoon this time, and uh, in one of the Spark speakers. But um, again, I'd like to thank uh, the the team for organizing this celebration of entrepreneurship. It's awesome event uh, coming in and. Uh, Hopefully, we'll uh, keep growing in the region and see more of these. Amir Anzo, let's hope so. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank, Thank you very you much indeed.